Hi, my name's Rob Stewart from Ski Press, and I'm here at Listex at Hemel Hempstead, the snow centre Hemel Hempstead, in September 2021, post COVID Listex. And I'm here with David Robertson from the UCPA and Action Outdoors. Hi, David, how are you doing? Hi, Rob, yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good, great. I mean, it's, it's so nice to be back at an event, isn't it, with uh, other people. There's, people. Other, there's other people and it's off camera, but there are actually people skiing on the artificial snow you know just what? over there. It's brilliant. And I skied for the first time in 18 months yesterday and on, on real snow and, and actually really enjoyed it. You know, it's, it's, it's quite special. Yeah, no, yeah, it makes us start to look forward to, you know, hopefully a good season to come. You know, that's the and, question. Uh, yeah, and also like, for me, I was... Uh, hadn't skied for 18 months and you might say to some people you know that's that's a first world problem but actually <laughs> yeah. when you work in the ski industry right it, it's not yeah. a first world problem and that brings me to the UCPA yeah um, because a lot of people think that skiing and, skiing and snowboarding is super elitist super expensive and actually out of reach for yeah. you know ordinary people yeah but you've got something that actually offers an accessible accessibility into into our sport, into snow sports. UCP is pretty special. So it was set up in uh, the 1960s by the French government, with the uh, the sole objective being to get people into into sports, into outdoor sports. So not specifically skiing, but skiing is a very very big part of it. Um, so. In the 60s, they put up a whole lot of buildings, they employed instructors, and they, they set up a kind of hostel style environment, and uh, it's all about accessibility. Obviously, times have rolled on a lot. We're in the uh, 2021 now. Um, it's no, no longer French government, it's a not for profit organization. The ethos is still there, so we still have, we own all our own buildings, we own our own equipment. The instructors are employed for a whole season at a time and the objective is make it easy to come skiing regardless of your background so um, you know it's a different factors there's price is a big part of it of course accessibility yeah. but it's just the organization you know everything's organized for you so I mean I've, I've stayed in quite a few UCPA centers myself I think yeah. there is um, a sort of some people might look at a UCPA, UCPA centre and think, oh, it's not for me, or, oh, it's only for young people, or, you know, I don't think I like the idea of staying in a, in a sports centre. Yeah. You know, but is that all, is there some truth in that? Or? Uh, I guess, hey, it's not for everybody, for sure. If, you, if your idea of a ski holiday is, is to be pampered throughout your stay, then, hey, we're probably not for you. If a ski holiday for you is about the skiing and the other aspects are more ancillary, then, then we're, it's right up your street. Um, yeah, it is for younger people. Um, the, the, the upper age limit is 55 up to certain courses, so that's not so young, really. Um, but our target audience is really this kind of 20s to 30s, um, fairly new jobs perhaps, start the career, and it's a chance to learn a sport and develop and you know it's a sport for life and in regards to if you're a skier or a snowboarder is it for all levels i mean i'm, I'm asked i i know the answer to that question but yeah yeah for, sure for, for the yeah for, 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 for people who don't know so um so the typical ucpa center the average size is about 300 300 beds yeah um all of those people will be on some form of instructed or guided activity. So we have groups from absolute, never seen the snow before, never put on a pair of skis or snowboard. Um, and your instructor, you have the same instructor for the whole week. And you know, you're gonna become a skier or a snowboarder. At the other end of the spectrum, it's much more guiding orientated. Uh, so be that off-piste, ski touring, uh, or coaching, we do some sessions on uh, down through the gates, we do some freestyle. So it really does, uh, with a whole bunch of, of groups in between, I should say, as well, for all the different progressions. For all levels. So the, yeah. the whole beauty of it is, I, I think, one of the big, big pluses is you can, you can go to UCPA with your friends or with your partner, you can be at completely different levels in a sport, and then you will you will go off in, in a group at your own level, at the right level for you. 
Um, there's still plenty of time to ski together with your friends or partner outside of those groups. Yeah. But that's an awesome part of of yeah. the experience. So in-house ski and snowboard school, basically yeah. with with its own instructors. Yeah. Uh, obviously fully, obviously all qualified instructors. Yeah. Yeah. All, um, all, all French qualified. It's all French system. Yeah. And within the center as well, I know you know there's ski hire and snowboard hire available within the yeah. system. And of course you get three meals a day, right? That's don't don't forget the food. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's. Um, it, it, I mean, we say it's all it's all inclusive. That's basically the concept. Um, and all inclusivity is not necessarily just about saving the money. Of course, it, although it does save you a lot of money, uh, it's all about convenience. And you, you know, you come come in from a day skiing. Do you actually want to be going to the supermarket and trying to get some groceries and make a dinner for yourself, or do you just want to be able to join your friends around a big table, buffet style eating? Hey, it's not five star, but it's pretty oh, no, good I've food. Some, I've had some great <laughs> meals in the Eastern Asia. Hey, it's good. For, it's good French sure. cooking. It yeah, is. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And how many resorts at the moment for the winter in the French Alps, um, approximately? Um, in total, there's uh, around 25, 30 resorts. Yeah. Um, however, for the the main adult international market, it's 12 resorts. 12 resorts. Yeah. And, and, and big, na big names. Major resorts, yeah, right? like you can go to Tien, Valzer, Valterrain, Chamonix, yeah. La Plan, Flen, just And just to maybe name a, few. a typical starting point for a week's uh, all inclusive uh, ski holiday then uh, for somebody that's going to have some ski instruction, can rent the skis, boots, and they're going to get three meals a day, going to get seven nights accommodation in, in, in a shared accommodation yeah. room, maybe with uh, three other people. Typical starting point. Price point. I should point out we always include a ski pass as well. And, and the ski pass, of including course. the ski pass. Huge. So if huge cost saving to get that for, uh, into your holiday. If you're under 25, yeah, you can go away for a week for 450 quid. 450, all in. All included. Yeah. Ski pass, instruction, ski yeah. equipment hire, three meals a day, and a bed. Yeah, exactly. Everything you need in resort. Only thing it doesn't include is your travel to get to resort. If you're not under, if you're not lucky enough to be under 25, um, it varies according to week and resort. About 550, 600 starting price. Uh, the more expensive courses, like off-piste, and or if you've been guided by a high mountain guide, that would come in closer to 900 or a thousand. Okay. So great value holidays and uh, lots of different centres across the French Alps. And if anyone wants to have a look for some more information, what should they do? Where should they go online? Get online and look at www.ucpa.co.uk. ucpa.co.uk. And all the details are on there. Perfect.